Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to see how to create a payment system with Stripe in AppGyver. So let's get started. Currently in AppGyver it's possible to make two types of payment systems using Stripe. The first one is the one that we're going to show which consists of two HTTP requests in series where in the first one we validate the card details and create a payment way and in the second one we make the actual payment passing on the details like the price. As for the other way to make the payment system is to go on in Stripe and uh, in products you can create the products you want and then uh, you can copy the payment link using this way you automatically have a payment gateway from uh, Stripe. As you can see here, the only downside in this uh, option is that when the user makes the payment, there is no feedback to your app, meaning that you don't know if the payment was completed. And the only way to know that is to check the history uh, in the Stripe but then you have problems matching the user that bought the product to the product that is bought and uh, this way it's not very efficient. That's why we're going to show how to make it using this community guide made from uh, Yakov Tran. It's a very well executed guide and I will link it down below. So we're starting here in a new test app and we're trying to create a booking system. So what we have started with is a button with an HTTP request to be used after the payment is completed in order to save the booking in our backend. We can go on to creating all the page variables we will need. First one, card number, that's a number. month and a year. Those two are also numbers. Here we can add the three input fields. And bind each one accordingly. month should be inputted as one number and not like 06 and uh, as for the year it should be like uh, this okay we can also add the according keyboard types Of course here you can uh, be creative and bind those two input fields into one and then uh, using a formula you can divide them into two to use in the HTTP request. Now we can start with some form validation functions. Basically making sure that the inputs are not empty before we continue with the request. And then we can 
continue with the HTTP requests themselves. First one, we can name it create payment method. Both of the HTTPs we will use are posts. And for the URL, we can go here and copy the URL. I will also, of course, link this uh, guide down below. As for the header, we have this one. And for the value, here we are in the Stripe account in the developers page. We want to go to API keys and we have to create a new API key and then we have the chance to copy it. Here as you can see after you copy it you can have access again. We're going to paste our API key. Be sure to make it uh, a bearer type and it's important that you have uh, space in between the bearer and the API key. Now for the request body Here you can see the request body. You need to change these brackets because they're a different type than the one AppGaver accepts. Okay, and here we want to put the page variables, the card number, the month, and the year. All right. The last thing, and it's important to remember, is to change the request type to this type. Now we can go on to adding some toes. The second port is the error port. We can duplicate this one and move to the second and last where we also have a post and the type is the same. Also the header is the same. The thing that's changed now is the request body. We can get that from here. Again, be sure to change those brackets to the ones that AppDiver accepts. You can uh, hold this one and let's make our output. And also these ones. Now about the currency, you can go on to learning more in Stripe uh, API documentation. I will link also this one but down below. In this case, what we want is the Singapore dollar. All right. And for the amount, let's save it for now. It's time to go to this page and create a page parameter that will have the amount that should be paid. So here again the request. We can come and make it like this number. And the value is the page parameter amount. All right. Let's save it. Of course, let's not forget about the URL. We need to change it with this one. Afterwards, if the request is valid, then we get paid. We want to create the document in our backend 
that the booking has completed. So guys, this was it. Uh, you can check out the community guide and the documentation of Stripe in the link down below. Leave a like if this video was helpful and subscribe for future videos.